Hi there and welcome to my channel. This is Kate at The Journal Nest in Australia and welcome, welcome, welcome. It is great to have you with me this afternoon. Well, it's afternoon here as I always have to apologise because you friends are all over the world. And so whatever time it is, it's a favourite things day today. And I'm not going to mess about because I've done lots of stitching this weekend and I want to just do, do some making so let's talk about my inspiration in the nest first of all i have um lots of little birds coming up um to remind me that these are one of the favorite things that i like to use in my journals so i've got those there for inspiration i have my little scrappy pieces i've got a lot of my I call them wild papers really so I'm gonna we haven't used these for a little while so I want to get out a collection of different weighted papers things that I've been experimenting oh that's bright it's crossing the line from neutral let's put it out there um, some tissue paper love that crunkle so I these are so old now but as I often say I am a hoarder and I don't throw the bits away because I treasure them all and they come out and tell the story in a different way. It's probably enough. So look at that. I think I'm going for spotties. Too bright. Anything else in here? A little bit of pattern. Oh, okay. Oh, and a little bit of... I found that in an op shop. Have I got much of that pattern? Probably too much. But anyway, let's leave those here. I was reminded that one of the things that I have always enjoyed doing is layer upon layer collage. Um, but that um, I haven't used lately these these um, light papers. Is that what you call? But yes, I like layers. I like string. Obviously, I like neutrals and papers and I like this idea of landscape and art all coming together so that's what I've got in my big picture mind recently we've been making lots of cards together these were some that we made in treasure treasures in the nest I think um, they're all a storyboard I've got some of these other papers you can see that I've done a lot of sewing around the edges quite a number of you have um, been responding about that for me it's just something that I love doing it sort of sets the scene so why am I bringing them all out because I don't know whether we'll end up making new ones of those or adding some things to them and the other thing I've got out is that I was thinking about this bird thing and I have little bits of vellum again it would be months and months since I've printed on vellum but that does add that textual interesting look I've got a bird card that excuse me I used ages I made ages ago now I would do that differently and I shared the other day that while I love these that were gifted to me I don't think I can use them as um, as circles so as I'm talking to you I'm just going to get in to fussy cutting and thanks to my friends I don't worry about the anten antennas anymore I don't hesitate to think that it is okay if I don't get into every edge so talking of favorite things many of you have already commented what you love to use in your journals and I know it's been tricky to say just three but I am collating that list and I thought uh, this week I think it'll be Thursday's video I'm going to show you I'm going to call it publish I don't know how you actually publish but I'm going to share a combined list of what we've all said that we have to have when we journal around us and I think when we put that list together it might be a wonderful springboard for all of us not only 
people who are just starting out as beginner junk journalists, but for, you know, just new ideas, because that's what I think I'm finding the purpose of much of this sharing is in looking and listening and watching and being inspired by this incredibly rich world of creativity that I didn't even know that existed until a couple of months ago. So there we are. That was speed cutting out and it wasn't painful at all. I think they're going to be too big. So I suppose we're going to look at small size pieces um, or some base layers that we can use. I have to admit, they probably will not last very long because they're round. I also found oh, this little bird out of a magazine. And so they're my tiny little bits. You watch, they will all get very buried in a minute. There's a butterfly gifted papers, who knows what combination will use those. So I'm going to try and keep separate though. Those are our um, ready-made things in this little pile over here. Shout at me if I bury them too quickly. I've just found one other bird shape. I'm also learning that people do challenges together and I don't know much about challenges um, on YouTube. I don't know how they work, but I do maybe challenge is too scary a word for me, but wouldn't it be nice to sort of work out a way that we could share our work? And I suppose what was going, this has probably been done before. You need to tell me and help me learn. But you know, what if we got our list of favorite things together and then we had I think about choose three of these. You can choose any any from the list. And then we said about maybe just first making a storyboard, not not a whole journal or something like that. I don't know. That's just going through my head because as I said, I'm learning along the way. Okay, so I've just chopped those up. Let's do a little bit of this feels so good. I've been doing my slow stitching and some crocheting. So to get into the, the rip is really, I should call it tear, shouldn't I? I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, that's enough of those. Okay, just working down the pile. I can't even remember what I was doing here. I think I cut up some circles and painted over them. Just checking, have you got shadow there? No, that's, that's okay. All right, so multiple little bits of this. And who knows where we will finish. So a bit of gold spotties. Oh, I didn't even know what shape that was. Let's actually, let's just do some random tearing so good for the soul I'm feeling happier and I've actually had an incredibly happy day so there's no reason that I need to feel happier let's put them over there oh gee Kate's got her own surprise how did I manage to do that isn't it interesting I do love spot <laughs> I am as I said, everyone, I'm eclectic and I think I'm quite strange because I love <laughs> I love spots on big pieces of paper, but I don't like them on those labels and I can't put them on my straight bits of paper. What does that mean? That's just plain paper. It's lovely, but let's leave that nearly to the bottom of the pile. So where are we going to end up this afternoon? We, oh, did I show you those ones? I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I did. Because this was part of that collage um, board that we did. And then that just happened to be there. So fly away and this little birdie. 
are there to inspire the um, elaboration page. Okay. So what I'm thinking is with a week of journaling and making ahead, and I never have enough pieces, let's make some pieces together, but we'll do it in a different way. So in this are my strips. That's a painting I did many years ago on canvas. I probably won't use that. I even tore my paintings up because just upcycle over and over. Yep, let's take one of those. This is, <laughs> I shouldn't say, but I will. This is just so organized compared to where I started out. So some of you are saying you, you need to sort. I'm, I'm going to encourage you to sort. I don't think it affects our creativity, but I can probably do things faster. Okay, these are all sorts of papers that I've experimented with. I do know people would like me to share that when my confidence, confidence is up a little bit more. I'll get really messy with you. So I'm going to do a whole lot of different techniques. I think I'm feeling like this is just a card. I'm just going to put a whole lot of papers on it to start with. Oops. Not worrying about a specific shape. So now she's worried that she doesn't like that shape. I'll do this. I'm going to try and be in some of these other papers. So this is a tracing the top to make a layer. We'll cut that there even though I have no idea what's going to come out at the end. So here we go. We're starting to cascade. Just checking I'm still in the middle yet you can see. you all feeling today how's the weather I hear that in the northern hemisphere it's turning into spring how exciting it's been gentle drizzle here all weekend but I absolutely love that Do like is is words randomly and that just reminds me that when I was thinking about the nest these words <laughs> popped out and that's why my brain's gone to them dance in the rain wonder with brave wings she flies and then that one fly away and these again I was searching for this the other day could not find it anywhere and of course it was buried and it's turned up in the and butterfly okay so back to this I'm just being brave and quite crazy because what is this really is it a collage is it a storyboard I don't know When you're stumped for 
creative, you know, like if you don't know what you're going to do. So someone said to me, oh, how, how do you know what you're going to make here today? And I go, I don't. And that's the fun of it for me at this point. So two bits of gold there. One bit of... there and now I'm going to get my slicer icer out which of course is not the proper name for this but let's straighten this edge up the blade <laughs> and there okay we're going to do a start one task and finish it today look at that love that okay so i'm going to find some different papers to put these on My little, I'm calling this my baby piece nest here, but I'll go for some thicker card. realize that's the same color cardboard or card or whatever it is so hang on sticky fingers moment not a lot of contrast but some what I'm going to do because it just jumped into my brain even these ones that I've sewn around if they jump out to me I'm going to perhaps mount them on a on the second layer so this one here which isn't straight at the top doesn't worry me but Oops. Okay, that was that was the giggle moment for all of my loyal people who who join with me as I giggle that I've got myself totally in a mess. I will be in the real mess today actually because I can't even find my wet ones because I was tired and filming the stitching. <laughs> Fingers crossed that I can still keep functioning. Buried my ruler. Honestly, what does your desk look like? Anything like this? Layer upon layer. Okay, now I would like... call this mass making layered bits and pieces because we don't know if they'll end up being tags or tickets or whatever okay here's a nice little one and so I suppose I'm using one piece of card I learned something from Rachel at Roxy's Creations, I think, today. I have been calling all of this, all of these bits and pieces ephemera, but I think ephemera 
I'm, I, this is, I, I will need your help. It seemed to me that ephemera was the actual pieces of paper that you put in, not the tags. I, I may have be completely wrong there. And I'm sure it's more than likely. This looks like a leopard skin, <laughs> leopard spotted butterfly. I like them flying this way. For me, they're free. There will have to be a pause because I can't go on without my wet wipes. Absolutely buried. But now we're right. Okay. Thank you for your patience, as always. Okay. This is a random little shape. Still got some on me. straight we'll fix that okay let's do some chopping up because I actually don't know how I'm going to get myself out of this muddle I chop down there here we go it'll only be the bottom. yeah the bottom yeah that's hard Mastered it. In here, trim, trim. There we are. Okay, I'll put them. Um, I'll put them on the side, so I won't bury them. Okay, that was that. back to the favorite ideas thing just remember if you want your voice included without any compelling but just from the idea of we're going to be a community in the nest with all these other channels that collaborate share and have fun together so if you would like uh, to contribute to your favorite your three favorite things it's okay if you add everyone said i should have answered five so it's up to you but just let's put that i'll, I'll put that together and share it as i said on first i never used to use this chopper rubber, but i have been watching quite a number of you do it so it's become favor as a result of that okay so here that was that that's still not going to work for me but it's getting better sort of love this crazy little bit but it needs something so I wonder which word is going to finish this off it's actually got a ridge down there which is not making me particularly happy. So my little scrap, I don't want to lose. How am I going to resolve this? Maybe that way.
This is a sticker. Oh my goodness. Can you see this finger? <laughs> That's just to make you laugh. Maybe that's another little series we could have. Funny, funny things. Funny things for junk journalers. I forgot what I was doing. Okay, I need this little tool. Because this is stickers. Kindness matters. Okay, that's going in the box over there. I think we'll just leave this one as it is because it's got half a butterfly's wing from the other day. I'm going to do the, if we like doing them rounded, just so they that I can put them in a pocket straight away. I suppose, to be honest, this is my favorite thing, just starting out randomly <laughs> and just seeing, here we go. Love that birdie, love, love, love that birdie. Okay, this I like, but it's gonna need something on it and maybe this is the wonder maybe this is the dance in the rain what about you do you like things going straight across mm, I'm not an I'm not a naturally balanced person at putting things in exactly the right spot I tend to love yeah I have to do that and I know that's maybe a little bit Contrary to what is artistic and aesthetic. But I do like those layers. That's, his, that's our Australian colours, everyone. The sky, the landscape, the dots and the spots. And seeing we're in the rain. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Okay. What else could we do that would be fun and different? Let's go bigger scale and see if we can make some fabric paper. So I'm just going to layer all these um, what are they? They're just different sorts. I think this is we call it baking paper here. It might be um, freezer paper or something where you live. But I do like the idea of overlapping some transparent layers. pattern. And that's what I particularly like about these sorts of pages is the, the, um, the lines. That's not a very difficult word, Kate, but it is the lines. <laughs> They're so random, but they can work Beautifully. Let's put another piece up there to cover that little white spot. Like that crease. A little bit of Okay, 
then maybe you can help me. Are there ever challenges where you just put the timer on and you go, okay, we've got X amount of time to create something? That's what I was just thinking. Oh, I like that one. That would be fun too, wouldn't it? Like a race. With no one but yourself, but I like doing games like that. Okay, so that bird's come out, so I'm going to put some um, decor, decor on this. So I need to make skinnier cards. Because you go through so many when you're feeling like pockets. I love square cards and I know that's not very sensible but I think I have to do that here. Put them away. I'm just looking around for yep. honestly sticky fingers I could call this so I suppose this style this afternoon is much more my art coming back into it I've been using gifted papers and a lot of vintage books for a little while, so it's nice to just feel these under my fingers again. And is that all I need? Okay, I'll get, hang on. Yeah, that's all that's going to fit on there. little tiny bits together and now we're going to see if we can <laughs> use some of those birds so let's get the pieces out first look at I do like that layering Oh yeah, there's another one. These are in my fingers for a minute. As I fill in thinking, where are those birds that I cut out at the beginning? I can see one, so I'm getting close. Okay, let's, oh, I'll have to make a home for that. The little birdie. Over here. A bit too big for this afternoon. Okay. Love that little piece. Oh, I was going to talk to you about some envelopes. We'll have to hold that over, I think. So tiny little scrappy bits over there. Big size bits here. The nest is in its happy place because it's quite piled up. Check how we're going for time. Yep. I've got enough to try and finish what I started. Okay. For those who are new subscribers, it's so wonderful to have you here. You might be on a bit of a shock ride, but as I said, right from the beginning, I can't plan. If I set out to do something, it wouldn't turn out. So this is part of 
my journal with me experience to encourage some of us I think I watched some videos when we started and I thought I can never do that because I can't plan but gather your favorite things around you and look what can happen not that these are anything special but it's just it's the process is what why I'm saying that Dragonfly, is that? So. There we are. I'm thinking of Barbara at 49 dragonflies as I think of that. I haven't used dragonflies very much. Oh. But I know some of you love them and use them often in your work. So for me, while I like that, it's not complete. So it needs to be put on something else. This is commercial paper that I was gifted. I don't need the words. I just like some interest behind it. Down so it doesn't make any sense. Going through so much glue this week. So what did I say? Mm. Look at the gold. Oh, I've ended up, no, I'm going to have to go this way because I ended up with no interest in the top right corner and I like to have that. Let's trim a little. Of course, this is why I don't cut, but that's okay. All right, let's put these in their home. Okay, let's do something. I also like juxtaposing something that's not meant to be there. This one's a little bit wider. Which way does that bird need to fly? It really needs to be crosswise, doesn't it? Okay, what have we got here? Now I'm going to put that on a different piece of paper. But that, look at those little birdies. Frame it to there. No, I'm not going to do that. I was getting distracted. I, was, I wouldn't put a stamp on there. Oh. Don't think this is exactly the right colour, but that's what it the message is pretty literal. what I find the most challenging. <laughs> what do you find the most challenging, I wonder? Or maybe you've got no challenges because you've been doing it for so long. Okay, that doesn't feel the right proportion to me, so we're going to need... Uh, this is why I tear more often, but I can't on this sort of paper.
this is the leg. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, that's right. Layer upon layer, upon layer, upon layer approach. wants to stick to my fingers okay so this will end up being a bigger sort of piece and it actually in, might end up being a um a page or something or as simple as that can go on to that next piece of paper and all of a sudden how many layers have we got? One, two, three, four, five with the, with the label. Okay. Just going back into my art nest. I shouldn't be in there. These are too bright. Sort of looking for my paper. Yep, yeah, that one. Maybe that one. I want to do some layering because I've got the background, but it needs something. So again, this is a messy. in a nostalgic Australia mood this afternoon because I'm really going back to my roots of my abstract painting, my colours, the influence of John Olson. So I don't think any of these birds are Australian so they're not, not going to suit that. So I'm just going to, oh if I could have one, the, what's that word? All the numbers. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a little bird. Let's see if we can. That's out of a magazine. I know many of us love going through our magazines and snipping out the things that speak to us. reason I didn't find that was because it was meant to be on there. I find this personally interesting because I've got shapes, I've got the layers, I've got the black and the black and I just, that's me doing me. How could we make this little birdie a home? Okay, how about that? sit like that. Oh, I cut two at the same time, which was not my intention. Let's, I was going to say round these. Would that be oh so close? I was yep. My glue stick is getting undressed accidentally. If you haven't seen 
<laughs> that funny video. I um, I just couldn't bear looking at my videos and seeing the bright blue. Okay, so that's again that could be a tuck in a little journal. Actually, I'm going to ask you to be patient because I just want to check that size out. This is the journal that needs some bits and pieces. She's nearly done. But yeah, this is the right size. Okay. So I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Oh my goodness, see? I want to, as soon as I, this is what happens to me. As soon as I feel these in my hands. So that one's going to probably live in this series. Okay, I'll count how many pieces we've made because there should be feeling like we've got somewhere all the scraps. Clear. Oh, see, that's stuck. Okay, what have we got? Birdie, numbers on landscape one, two, three, it's like playing cards, four, five, six, love the dancing in the rain, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty good in that short time. And just for cleaning up, we'll see if anything just really is speaking. It, it's too big. I love those cages. Way too big. For the moment, so we've got this sad little bird. Oh, is that a sticker? Right. Okay. Just thought of something. Never done this before. You probably have. This is why I'm addicted <laughs> to junk journaling. It suits, I think, my random personality because I never want to stop. How's that? That's a birdie out of vellum in the cage, so it's grounded, and all we need, this will be me having to do what I didn't think I could do. This is really thin. Oh, what, what a colour paint. A paper. Again, some of you are sharing. You're so clever out there. How many things you do? You journal, you paint, knit and sew and crochet, make all sorts of wonderful things. Where is this bird going to land? Going to land there. What's on the back? Oh, all set for journaling. If you know me, I always have trouble. Oh, pasting film down. So that was just sitting there. I knew it would need something. And why didn't I do that? I like to have something interesting at the top. Okay, so that's a good page. Let me that. I'm just trying to work out if there was something I said I'd do that I haven't. Oh yes. Probably need one more butterfly. That oh I don't okay. So this is I don't know. Again we're going to talk about lyrics and words 
at some point. Oh, there we are. That's meant to be. Um, I don't like the literal, like the skeleton sort of idea, but I love the font and the print. So I just saw those things when I was talking then and thought I can put them together. The Yep. The butterfly. onto a gorgeous piece of paper. Mm. Oh, there's the Hunt Store Miniatures. Okay. A shop book. This is where I don't mind being literal because it's sort of in the right colours, but also in the, the right centimetres. Oh, centimetres. <laughs> Sentiments. Okay, let's do a quick tidy and just eyeball what we've gone through. I'm not even going to, so there you are, a little bit of nasty flittiness because it's so messy. Let's quickly go through the pieces that we've made together. Okay, so in no particular order, our birdies, our butterflies, oh there's the other birdie, butterflies, another bird, a literal butterfly, leopard skin butterfly, dragonfly. Don't think we did anything with that. Oh, I just backed it. Some words and numbers. And we're going to finish with Kindness Matters. I hope everyone is treating you kindly because you have treated me so well. Thank you so much. And I'm going to go outside now and dance in the rain. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. This is Kate from Australia at the Journal Nest. Bye.